in the previous video we saw the structure of the inner ear that is membranous labyrinth now here we are talking about those two sensory structures one which is present in the vestibular part that is in utriculus and sacculus and the second one which is found in the ampulla of semicircular canals so first we will take up macula these maculae they are two in number and they are present in the vestibular part that is in utriculus and sacculus and they are called macula utriculi which is present in utriculus part and the one which is present in sacculus is known as macula sacculi these are sensory and they are going to help in a particular kind of equilibrium let us first understand the structure they the cells there are two types of cells and they rest on a basilar membrane the sensory cells they are cup shaped cells and upper end has a tuft of stereocilia stereocilia are non motile and stiff structures which are sensory which are going to perceive the sense or a particular type of change so if we draw these cup like structures or cells and the upper end we are showing this stereocilia the nuclei prominent and from the lower end arises the nerve fiber so these nerve fibers they are going to join and would take the stimulus between these cells are present the supporting cells supporting cells are tall and columnar cells so these are all supporting cells and as the name tells us supporting that means they are non sensory just provide support to those sensory cells so these are supporting cells and this is the sensory cell with stereocilia sensory cell and this structure which we have drawn here these are stereocilia stereocilia they are sensory non motile cilia now the upper end is covered with a gelatinous layer there is a thick gelatinous layer which is known as gelatinous capsule and at the top of this gelatinous capsule are floating calcareous particles which are known as otolith or ear stones so these particles which we have drawn here they are otolith otolith or ear stones they are calcareous that means they are made up of calcium compound so they are calcareous in nature that means that is composition now how is this structure helping in balancing maculae they are responsible for maintaining static equilibrium static equilibrium and during linear acceleration now what does this mean we suppose we are in a resting position we are sitting and in that sitting static position if we bend down to lift something that is the equilibrium of our body is maintained by this or if we are just walking straight linear then during that time the posture and equilibrium is maintained by this now sometimes whenever there is a change how is this change detected suppose this structure tilts whenever our body position head position changes suppose this structure this whole thing becomes like this then the gelatin is going to flow on one side as soon as gelatin flows these otolith they would come in the contact with those stereocilia as soon as otolith touch these stereocilia a stimulus is generated which would be conducted to the brain so if there is any change this tells our brain that there is a change in the position and the corrective action can be taken so macula helps in balancing and equilibrium in static position 
So when we are in sitting resting position or if we are moving, it has to be a linear acceleration. The second structure, this was first, the second structure is known as crista or crista ampullaris. Crista ampullaris. And the reason why this name is given because they are found in the ampullae of the semicircular canal. In ampullae of semicircular canal. And as we know that in each ear there are three semicircular canals, there would be three Christi. So they are three in number. These maculae, they are two in number and Christi are three in number in each ear. Now the structure of Christa is very much similar to this. There are sensory cells, there are supporting cells, there are stereocilia also, there is gelatinous layer also. But there is a difference. In the ampulla region, because it's a swollen part, these cells, they are arranged slightly on a ridge like this. The sensory cells are tall cells. Here they were cup-like. So these, okay, let me write this. This is macula and this one which we are drawing is the crista. So the cell sensory cells, they are tall cells, columnar cells. Upper end is going to have the stereocilia and from the lower end would arise the nerve fibers. So this is the same part in crista or macula. Let me draw this stereocilia here. These stereocilia as you can see from this diagram are long as compared to the stereocilia of the macula part. So these are the stereocilia. In between again there are supporting cells. Supporting cells are again columnar cells, tall non-sensory no stereocilia, no nerve fiber. So this is how the cells are arranged. Now from the sensory cells, from the lower end arises the nerve fiber. So from here, there are nerve fibers. They are arising only from the sensory cells. And this nerve fiber is going to take the message or the stimulus. Now, here also there is a gelatinous capsule. So this is also covered with a thick gelatinous capsule. But in this case, there are no autolith. So in case of crista, same thing, sensory cells, supporting cells, sensory cells have st uh, stereocilia from the lower end nerve fiber, but shape is different and there are no autolith. So in crista, no autolith. Now how is the stimulus or that uh, change detected? The change is detected, again, whenever there is a position change, this gelatin is going to flow towards one side and these stereocilia would get exposed. That means they would come out of the gelatinous layer. As soon as they get exposed, an impulse is generated here and that stimulus is taken. So this dotted thing which we have drawn here is the gelatinous capsule. But here we do not have autolith. Now this crista or these cristi are responsible again for equilibrium. But which kind of equilibrium? I'm writing it here for crista. They, are, they help in maintaining dynamic equilibrium. Macula were helping static equilibrium. That means when we are in a sitting position. Dynamic equi equilibrium means we are moving our head in different directions or we are moving. So helps in dynamic equilibrium. And secondly, here it was in linear acceleration. That means when we are moving also in a slow pace in a linear manner. Here it is an angular acceleration. Angular acceleration. So both these structures, they actually help in balancing our body and equilibrium. But one is during static condition, resting, sitting condition. Other is during moving condition. Here, linear movement is 
detected or change in that is detected and here it is angular. Suddenly you're walking and, or rather you're running and you bend towards one side. So that is control or that uh, for perception of that and correction is done by crista. So ear as hearing an equilibrium structure, this is the equilibrium part. So crista and maculae. Maculae, two in number, in uh, utriculus and sacculus, one each. And Christi, three in number, one in each ampulla of semicircular canal. Both help in maintaining equilibrium and posture. Now, the next part that we will discuss would be the structure of cochlea.